10 three-minute rounds for the IBO Intercontinental Welterweight Championship. Introducing first to the scales, he holds a professional record of 14 victories versus just two defeats, with seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of Bermondsey, London, England, here is the former WBO Global and WBC International Silver Welterweight Champion, Chris Too Slick Congo. So weight, 10 stones, 6 pounds, 5 ounces for two slick Chris Congo. And his opponent hiding out of the red corner tomorrow night. He is undefeated with 13 wins, no losses, and one draw with 8 of those wins coming by way of knockout. Running out of London, England, by way of Lushnia, Albania. Introducing the former IBF international welterweight champion. He is the Albanian king, Florian Marku. Take the worst I say and turn him to a game. Take the best I say and put him on display. On repeat in your brain till you're feeling no more pain. Never slow yourself down, you can do some more. Push past, start a pain. And finally explode everything that you thought you could never do before uh, And even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go Official weight, 10 stones, 6 pounds for the Albanian king Florian Marcus. Johnny, I, I think the roars of the crowd there have established where the majority of the fans have come from this afternoon. Florian has a, a, a crazy lot of fans. They follow him everywhere and anywhere. He creates excitement in and out of the ring, expectation in and out of the ring. Uh, I think this is the, the fight you can guarantee that will that'll light the touch paper, as Adam used to say, in regards to, to, to uh, tomorrow night. Does this have the potential to steal the show, Andy, do you think? I think it does. I think it does because they're a great clash of personalities, but it's also a clash of styles. I look at Kongu on the scales there and he's like a greyhound, isn't he? Yeah. There's absolutely nothing on him at all. That is hard work for him to make this limit, but he does it and he does it well because he looked, physically he looked good, didn't he? Even yeah. though there's not a shred on him. Marku, shorter, a little bit more solid with those kind of long arms on him. I'm really looking forward to this one. I have been ever since they started to row with each other, however many months ago it was. When, when the tables got flipped. A little bit of argy bargy at a press conference. Chris Congo, he's been out of the ring for a bit. He's been out of the ring for about a year. Do you think that could be an issue tomorrow night? Will we see a little bit of ring rust potentially? Oh, it's kicking off. Yeah, I mean, look, inactivity is never a good thing, you know? But, uh, I mean, you know, as long as he's prepared really well, maybe done a bit more sparring than he normally would, just to get that bit of sharpness, hopefully. But, um, you know, Marku isn't the most difficult person to find, you know what I mean? He, he, he will be there, he's got a reach over him. So I think as long as he gets his jab going early on and gets into the fight quickly, he should be okay. We said it at the top of the show. The back and forth, the, the, the finish fight between the two of them has been running for a long time and exactly what we've just seen up there is what we predicted it's always going to happen in this fight and it's gonna, probably going to spill over into the ring as well it is and security were, were on red alert straight away didn't we Exe expected that anyway but I think can you imagine what the fight's going to be like tomorrow that's what I just said I that's imagine just, it's going to go it's going to continue oh in the ring yeah. 
and there's certainly going to be a lot of support in that O2 arena. The 13,000 tickets, I'd love to know how much of that is Florian Marquis support. Yeah, Chris brings up as well. You know, it's um, it's a pretty extraordinary situation that the way he manages to sell tickets, Marku. It's, it's amazing, really. Brilliant to see. Let's hear from him now with Andy. Florian, plenty of energy in the room, but even more energy up on that stage. You're obviously fired up. Your fans are fired up as well. What's your message for all these people that have come out here today? My message is to all the opponents that disrespect me, they're gonna pay. Whoever disrespects me, they're gonna pay. He, he's gonna pay like all my last opponents gonna pay on the fight night. I love this game. This is where I get reborn. When I'm fighting, this is what I love to do. And this guy tomorrow, he's gonna be shaking because he's a coward. And I'm gonna show him inside there who wants it more. I want to thank all the fans that came here tonight and whoever is coming tomorrow, I'm gonna show you tomorrow night who I am. Thank you very much. Brilliant, I don't need any more from you, thank you. Let's bring in Chris. Yeah, Mike, he can come in, he can come in. I think everyone's behaving now. What's your response to that? There's plenty of energy up on that stage there, uh, probably a few nerves as well. We got him, listen, we don't draw against a journeyman, yeah? We don't get knocked down and nobody is going to save him tomorrow. That's the, that's the thing. The British Boxing Board are here, they're fair, they're not going to pull the bell 10 seconds before, because when I knock him down, he won't survive. So let's go. Do you believe they've made a mistake picking you? 100%, big mistake. This is a big mistake and this is my time. This is all noise, I ain't worried about that. They ain't going to help him. What about a hostile crowd? That don't mean nothing. Crowds don't win fights. Fights win fights, and I'm a real fighter. He's not. Best of luck to you. Thank you. I think Chris is almost enjoying that.